Hello, welcome to the Tactical Podcast. I'm the host, Kurt, and uh, today we're talking about uh, emergency preparedness, the things you will need in the event of an emergency. Um, so we'll just kind of go through the list. Now, what I've got here is I've got two packs that are similar to this one. Now, the other one's kind of a cheap one. This is an, a little bit nicer one, but uh, designed for backpacking. I like the hard metal frame because you can clip stuff to it, um, and they're really easy uh, to pack. They, they, you can stuff a lot of stuff in there. You're going to want to definitely have used that on the camping trip so that you can know how to pack it. I, I like to put most of the weight personally on mine down towards the bottom so that it rests right on, on my back. Um, but uh, you can pick up a, a, one of these kind of packs for brand new, 50 to 100. You can find them at yard sales sometimes for 15 to $20. They're, it's great. Um, so the first thing that's, that would go in this pack, of course, is clothes. You wanna have all the clothes you'd need for your family. In my case, the reason I have two packs, I have uh, my wife and two boys and I wanna have everything that they would need so that I can uh, take care of them and, and watch out for them. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna want at least uh, two sets of clothes. I prefer, no matter what season you're in, long sleeves always great because uh, if it's too hot, you can cut the sleeves off. If it's the winter time, you've already got them in there. You're not having to alternate between winter and summer emergency packs, they're just always there. Pants, again, if, they're t if it's too hot, uh, cut them. Uh, at least you've got two of them, so who cares? You got a pair of shorts and a pair of pants then. So uh, then, uh, of course, uh, if it's, if it's going to rain, it probably will. Um, you're going to want ponchos for everybody. That would be nice. This isn't a camping trip where you can say, oh, shucks, it's raining. Let's just not go. You're going, and you're going to need uh, to take care of that. So you're going to want to be able to have enough um, stuff and in such a way that you know, material matters too. Jeans are really thick material. They're hard to crunch down and pack, although uh, you know, cargo pants are uh, really great. I, I prefer dark colors or khaki colors if you need to hide out in the woods. Uh, that's a nice thing to have. Uh, let's look at um, a shelter. Now this tent here is really a small one. It's probably only good for my kids, but at the same time, I've got a couple of uh, big blue tarps here. Um, looks like blue on one side, black on the other. So I can create a, an additional shelter uh, for whatever we might need using rope and duct tape. That's the next on the list, duct tape. Get a roll like this for about a dollar. Uh, and then zip ties, the other magical man's uh, tool to uh, use for things. Um, water, really important that you have water. Whether you take it, it's distilled in jugs or uh, purified in jugs, whatever you wanna uh, have. Uh, even if it's just something like you take, uh, I recommend getting the biggest gas can you can find, never putting gas in it, cleaning it out ahead of time, and then filling it with water in an emergency, right in big letters, water all over it. Uh, and then also have another gas can uh, for gas. But this, is in an, in an environment where you have lots of rivers and streams, you can get away with a water filter because the water filter will filter out the, the bad things. And this is a really nice filter by MSR. You can pick these up for anywhere from 100 to 150. Uh, check out eBay, uh, usually works good for that. This stove is really nice, comes in a little carrying bag. I'm sorry, stove, uh, pots and pan set. And there's actually four, uh, two pots and two pans. So you can boil water, you can cook things you wanna cook. Um, there's a lot of different types of stove. I'm actually, I've all got two types. I've got Sterno, which is good as, as my backup, but primarily I've got this and it's also by MSR. It's called the, um, I think it's called the Pocket Rocket. And, but it's a, it's a small stove. Looks uh, like that. Um, little small propane canister goes like that. And I've got two propane canisters. I've got two sternos. I will split those up and put one in each pack so that if something was to happen to one pack, it's no big deal. I've got, and at least I've got my ability to uh, cook. Uh, flashlights. Now, while these are water resistant, they're not waterproof. I have two, one, one for each pack. I also have waterproof glow sticks in the rent of a real emergency where my lights even go out. Um, then you're having a really bad day. Uh, I've got enough uh, to take care of that. First aid kit's really important. Now this isn't the first aid kit that I'll be packing. I keep a first aid kit that's probably three times the size of this in each of my cars. So I have a, a four wheel drive and I have a, a car. We probably wouldn't be taking the car. <laughs> Hope not. But um, we've got a, a first aid kit's really important. You don't want to be stuck somewhere, sprain an ankle or get cut up because that cut could turn into an infection within days and you'll be losing that arm if you're even lucky enough to get the medical help you need uh, in a disaster and you don't want to count on that. The, the, the major thing here is you want to take care of yourself. You don't want the government to try and help you because they're not going to help you. It took them over a week 
to deal with these last couple hurricanes that we've had. Who was helping these people? Their own local communities was help, were helping these people. So you're gonna look out for yourself. Uh, one of the other things is not a necessity, but I, I personally uh, think it's a necessity. Um, depends on what, what, what area, what kind of an environment you're going to, is a machete. Six dollars at Walmart. Can't beat that. And uh, we li I live in an almost uh, jungle, jungle environment here in Virginia. A lot of vines coming down the trees. And if you're having to traipse through the woods and whatnot, this thing will be great. You can also use it to uh, chop down trees for firewood. It's, uh, it's just all around great. Um, food, rice is great. You, uh, you can pick up, uh, there's lots of containers. I'm reusing this container and it's a perfect, it'll fit right inside there, but I got enough rice here to last me about a week. And then um, these vegetarian items here, Tender Bits and Big Franks, um, it's an acquired taste, but it is protein. I don't think they make meat hot dogs in a can. So these are soy product. You can get them on Amazon, uh, made by Worthington, Loma Linda, Big Franks. So check these out. These are great. Uh, spaghetti sauce. I think I'll wig out if I don't have some flavor in my rice after uh, a few days. So spaghetti sauce is great. Uh, it's a glass jar. That's not ideal, but I'm going to take it anyway. Uh, these are wonderful. Ramen, top ramen, marishuan, instant lunch, cup of noodle soup. And uh, what's great about these is they weigh almost nothing. You can pack as many of these as you can physically fit inside the bag and it won't affect your weight at all because they really, they almost weigh nothing. Uh, toiletries like toothbrush, toothpaste, toilet paper, you definitely wouldn't want to have that kind of stuff. Um, a knife, you got to have a knife. You never know what you're going to have to uh, cut up. Maybe if you brought a fishing pole, I hope, you're bringing that. Uh, you're going to want to be able to clean that fish, and it's going to be kind of hard to do with your bare hands and a stick. So you're going to want to have a knife. Radios are great, because if you're going to want to go off and try and recon what's going on, uh, see how the, what the situation's like, whatever it is, whether you've stayed at your house and, and you're using this stuff to survive, or whether you've gone off into the mountains somewhere, you're going to want to have a radio, uh, if you can, to keep in touch with your loved ones. Now. All of these things are the emergency side of things. But let's say you've got a, maybe an hour or two hours or five hours and you know I, I, we've got to get out of here but we've got some time to pack. Well that's great because you can pack more water and more food than you could possibly even need and I would definitely re recommend that. Throw everything in a box, throw it on the roof of the truck, whatever, and bring it. Um, what I've got here, that tent was too small, but if I've got the time, I'm going to bring my tent that can fit the whole family because I want everybody to be able to stay together. Uh, if you've got small kids, you're going to want to try and minimize the stress as much as possible on your children. You're going to want to have uh, snacks, candy, Ritz, crackers, uh, whatever. Uh, something to just go, hey, you know, it's like a picnic. We're having a great time. And, and then you, you and your wife can, once they go to sleep, talk about how bad things are. But uh, I've got some different things here. I've got, uh, you know, I go camping. So I've got already, my camping stuff's already in these tubs. And so I just keep this with um, next to my emergency stuff. And if I have the time, I get to uh, pack that up. Um, and then finally, we talk about defense. You never know where you're going to be, whether you're going to be in the mountains, whether you're going to be in the city, where you're going to be at. And in natural disasters and in bad situations, we ha live in a fallen world of bad people. <laughs> and those bad people could potentially harm you and your family. I mean, personally, I'm, I like my handguns and I always carry my handgun, uh, either open or concealed carry here in Virginia. You're going to want to have a gun. Uh, whatever you feel about guns is irrelevant on the day when you need that gun. You better have it. So you definitely want to take your guns. You want to take enough ammunition for those guns. So you're going to want to have that pre uh, in, in an ammo box or of some kind. Uh, rifles, any rifles you've got, you're going to want to take. Um, and it, as a note on that, when the government, like in Katrina, says, "Hey, you got any guns?" You say, "No, sir. We don't have any guns." And they'll usually just say, "Okay," <laughs> they'll let you ride on by. Don't say yes. Okay, the final thing you're going to want to put together is a list of everything you might possibly need that's other than these two packs that you're going to have to have, that you're going to want to be able to grab in five minutes and run out the door. Now, I'll put that list of, that I've got here uh, for myself in the uh, info section of this video. But um, other than that, uh, I'd love to know what you think. love to know what you would add to uh, an emergency pack. Thanks for watching. <laughs>